Well, Stephen Hawking in his latest book says God bah humbug. He can prove the non-existence of God because there was no time for God to create the universe at the instant of the Big Bang. He says time started with the Big Bang, therefore there was no time for God to create a universe, i.e. there's no God. I think there's a flaw in that argument because Einstein's theory of gravity breaks down at the instant of the Big Bang. That's why he spent 30 years of his life chasing after a higher theory. And what does string theory say? Well, Einstein says the universe is a bubble. We live on the skin of the bubble, and the bubble's expanding. That's called the Big Bang Theory. String theory says there are other bubbles out there. There's a bubble bath of universes, and universes are being formed all the time. Big bangs are happening even as we speak. So we have this bubble bath of universes. Right. So there was something before Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. There was something before the Big Bang. And we're going to detect gravity waves from the instant of creation with gravity wave detectors in outer space one day. We should find evidence. We should find baby pictures of the instant of the Big Bang. And maybe we'll find evidence of an umbilical cord, an oh. umbilical cord connecting our baby universe to a parent universe. So our universe is just one bubble in a lot of different, like a, like a foam of bubbles. That's right. Okay? We're just one of those bubbles. That's right. In and for me, that's good because, you see, I was raised as a Buddhist. And in Buddhism, there's no such thing as God. There's only nirvana, timelessness. But my parents wanted me to be as American as possible because they were in a concentration camp during World War II. So they sent me to Presbyterian Sunday School where I learned all about Genesis and all about the parables. So I've had these two conflicting ideas in my head for years. But now we can meld them together into a single theory. Our universe had a Genesis. Our universe had a Big Bang. There was an explosion. But these explosions take place all the time. Universes keep budding off other universes. And what is the universe expanding into? Expanding into another bigger arena, the arena of 11-dimensional hyperspace. Therefore, our bubble is expanding in nirvana. And so here we have a beautiful melding of Buddhism with the Presbyterian religion.